Hey guys, uh, Christine here. This is part two of the plugins. The last plugin I installed was the All in One SEO Pack, um, which, if you want to review all the plugins you already have, just click on Plugins. It's going to give you a list. So, with this All in One SEO Pack, um, it's going to say up here that you have to set some things up and you have a configuration page. You also will notice that under settings, you have another option, which is the all-in-one SEO options. Um, this is going to give you some options here. And I would suggest, you know, you guys just Google something on how to set up SEO pack. Um, probably right here where it says support, it's going to show you. I know with um, the all-in-one SEO, you have to get an Akismet signed up, which I believe you have to go through uh, WordPress.com. Remember, we have everything set up on WordPress.org right now, so you'd have to go to WordPress.com and actually sign up for an account. And I think at that point, it gives you an Akismet code or an option to do an Akismet code. Um, so not getting too far off, let me just go ahead and show you another option for plugins. I'm going to go over here to my list that I have and let's do Tweet Blender because this is a really fun one and this you can use as a widget. So I'm going to go to search Tweet Blender, install now, yes I want to install, I want to activate the plugin, And then I'm going to go to, under settings, Tweet Blender. It's going to give me some options here. I'm just going to screen through real quick to pick a couple of these options. Let's see here, filters archives we're not going to worry about that right now for the sake of time alright so now that this is all saved let's go to widgets and remember this is all the areas of your website that you can um, add on new little applications or plugins so we're just gonna drag tweet blender over here now you can name it whatever you like I'm just gonna name it tweets and this is where you would go ahead and put whoever you want to follow to have their tweets show up on your website. So for me, I'm just going to put a couple of my Twitter names. And I'm going to tell the program to load every minute, reload every minute, and show about four tweets. And I'm going to save it. And let's see what happens to my website. All right, so now we have tweets, and here are some of my recent tweets. So I went to the basketball game. I found a cool article on wealth home ownership and uh, rethink your blog strategy, which I think I posted in the Facebook group. So pretty much any cool articles I come across, I tweet them. Um, and as if you read this article earlier today, a lot of blogs are growing through um, social media. Actually, Facebook, I think, was the number one way to grow your blog. So those would be things. There's also um, Facebook Connect, I believe is the name of it. That is a plugin you can download and you can put like your Facebook likes over on the side if you'd like. Um, I will mess around with more of this tomorrow. Uh, it's getting late here for me. So I will play around more with some of the plugins maybe tomorrow night when I have a little bit more time and I'll post more videos. If you guys run into any specific issues, um, especially with uh, all-in-one SEO, let me know um, and I'll probably end up recording me going through that process and post it. But pretty much uh, search maybe what's the best plugins on Google and see what comes up and you can always mess around with them you're not gonna mess up your website and you can always delete them if you don't like them so I hope this helps you guys